Tanjiro is falling, and he thinks, what is this place? I can't tell left from right here. Was this place created by the enemy's blood demon technique? I don't exactly know what was happening back then, but Tamayo-san was pinning news and down. I don't know how long she can keep that up. Though, I have to head to where Musen is and defeat him as soon as I can, I have to hurry. When Tanjiro was thinking about all these, suddenly a thought came about him falling, and saying I'm gonna die if I crash into the ground. I'll just change course by using my technique, then I'll grab a part of the building. But my pasture's bad, I can't brace myself either, since the air pressure is too strong. While thinking about all these he almost hit the ground, Suddenly someone catches him. Oh, it was Jiu. He asks Tanjiro if he is okay. Tanjiro thanked him for saving him. When he is about to say something, a demon comes from behind. Without wasting a single moment of time, Tanjiro sliced it into pieces, using breath of water, first form a surface slice. Giyu warns Tanjiro about the incoming demons, both of them use his breath of water. Giyu uses breath of water. Third form dance of the fast moving current. Tonjiru uses breath of water sixth form, twisting whirlpool. Tonjiru thinks Ju is amazing, because he can see what technique he is going to use from his slight movements, and then after that he creates his own technique and moves in a way that matches his attack. On the other hand, Ju thinks Tonjiru is dangerous because he can't analyze his expression, and he says all this looking dumb. Later both of them left the scene. In a different panel, we see Obane slicing and dicing all the demons which attacks him and Kunrunji, using breath of snake fifth form serpentine coil. Kunrunji thinks Aguro is wonderful. After this we see Gromi and Muchiru. Muchiru says, there are a lot of demons here. Gyomi says, it looks like they were designed to have the strength of the lower moon. They realized Musen was planning to wear us down. They remember Oyakota's armor. Gyomi says he went to the afterlife ahead of us. It was a magnificent final moment. Machiro can't believe it, because Oyakota's armor made himself a decoy. Gyomi says he was already on his limits. When he was near the verge of death after getting attacked by demons, he kept encouraging me. And he did the same thing to all the hunters even as he was dying like a father. Machiro was in rage, and he says Musen didn't just took my brother, he took our second father too. I swear I'll kill him, who will show him hell. Gyomi also joined him with Machiro in rage and says don't worry we all feel the same. Sanimi was in despair as he couldn't protect Oyakota's armor. He was killing all the demons around him without even looking at them. In his full anger mood he says, they just keep coming one after the another. Okay us wipes come and get me. We see Lord Inoski with his pig assault. I don't know how I ended up in this weird wacky place. But since all these demons are flying at my face, it's a great chance to test out my training. We see Jenya all scared and confused. What is this place the demon fortress? He wishes his big brother Sanimi to be safe. We also see Zenitsu with his serious mood on. I hear something. That person may be nearby. Just unforgivable. I will never forgive that person. We don't know who he was talking to about. On the other hand we see Shinobu. I smell blood. She's in some wacky place. We see Upper Moon too in that place. He was amazed to see Shinobu. And says she looks so fine and delicious. I'll have to thank Nokimi-chan later.